welcome to today's Fast Track episode of The Growth Zone. My name is Christian Bartsch and these episodes provide you with a focused mind-feeding topic. You can use it to have some new ideas to guide you through the day. Let's get started on today's topic. Today's episode is about examining the health of your backlinks authority. Let's go a step deeper into understanding how to examine the health of your backlinks authority by listening to this podcast. I'm going to give you some basic first understandings of the Google ranking strategies and how to monitor your website before we go further and further deeper into the game of getting your backlinks in the right position. As we heard in previous episode, the authority of our links have a significant impact on our ability to rank on a position that will help our cause. If we are a company that manufactures coffee machines, then we want to be the first page of Google when people are looking for such devices. Hence, we need backlinks that convince Google about the relevance and importance of our website being suggested to people who are searching for such products. If we take great care in acquiring such good quality links, then we also need to put the effort into writing good content. Unfortunately, this does not mean you can go on holiday once you've got those backlinks pointing at your website. You have to regularly monitor what is happening to your website and important pages in that website of yours. Look where they score. Use professional tools as they make you more efficient and accountable. Also look at what is happening to the domain authority of the domains that have been beneficial to your own score. Have these websites been falling in rank or are they now permanently offline? Have they changed in content, ranking or even evaluation? Are they maybe even have been maybe hacked or any kind of things? You want to avoid negative impacts that can affect your ranking. So this might make it necessary to go and search for new places to get your backlinks from. Link farms are not a good idea as they have no real value to visitors. Google is looking at such websites that are just a website full of links with no relation to each other. And what does Google search engine algorithm then think? Hmm, that's a lot of garbage and eventually will not add it to its ranking. Old analytics, old ranking systems might have thought that was good, but Google is learning. Every quarter Google has much, much better. And that's why many, many people around the world use Google to find stuff. The same might even apply to other search engines like Bing, Yahoo, Baidu and other kind of places or even Yandex and that. So think about it. How can you expand now your backlink authority? So you should look at the values. You should see what are the rates. Maybe even if necessary, take a screenshot of that page just for reference. And if you want, you can put it in some folder, print it out or whatever you like, and then always just monitor it. What I would do, I would put them these values into an Excel sheet and each quarter or each month or so, check the numbers, add them to the column and see is there anything changing. And then you can eventually see a trend that might be beneficial because it could be that that seed page is becoming even better and ranking higher and higher, which would be for you very good. And if you have to do something somehow financially, whether you have to get an article on it and have to pay to be there and that, then that's still something that might be helpful for you. So as in the example, we were talking about uh, coffee machines. Let's say a company like Nespresso wants to be on the first page and they have, of course, other competitors. 
who would they be? There may be companies who are offering coffee capsules that can be used with Nespresso's uh, coffee machines, but they are not made by Nespresso. So, of course, Nespresso would like to sell their coffee tabs to their clients, to the people who've bought the machines, because that would be, of course, beneficial to Nespresso. Now, what is beneficial to the visitors? We know we have to always look at these things from the perspective of the visitor, because that's what Google is well doing. Each time it evaluates links and text that is found in. And the thing is, of course, it might be beneficial to see coffee tabs, because maybe I'm looking to see which coffee tabs fit with this coffee machine. Maybe I had an older version and I've got plenty of coffee tabs and I don't want to throw them away. I just want to buy a new machine that is compatible with the coffee tabs that I've already got. So that would be, of course, something that might be based on some kind of question that we enter into Google as somebody who's searching for a compatible machine. Now, look at that at a different example. Let's say a coffee uh, machine company is, let's say, advertising on a website for their coffee tabs and the coffee machines. And that website isn't Google. But Google is going to that website and sees that there's an ad on that page. It will notice, okay, that's advertising. But maybe on that page, there is maybe content relating to coffee beans. And if there are a assortment of links that maybe are showing to three or five different coffee makers, then Google might decide to follow those links instead of following the banner link that is actually on the top. So Google tries to see how it can help the visitor to find the right kind of coffee that they prefer. So the machine finds the four links, follows all those four links, evaluates what it finds on these other four pages, and then tries to rank them accordingly. It's scoring. And as well, according to the value, the quality, and of course, that other pages ranking. So in that case, if that website that had the ad at the top is also included in the list of the potential websites where you might find the coffee that you would like to buy, then it might be even beneficial for that company. Especially if it's based on a website that has a lot of other content, like a magazine website. That. That's always a very good place because there's always fresh content. There's lots of stuff happening there. And even if the magazine is, let's say, every quarter or every, every month or every six months, it doesn't matter. The content is beneficial. There's a lot of information and the articles are very good. So Google will like that website. And eventually, of course, if you've got a link from that to your page with the coffee, you will be getting some additional points in your ranking. And in the future, when somebody is looking for coffee, maybe Google decides to show the link to that page that matches the kind of coffee I am looking for. So don't ignore the stuff that's happening on your website. Regularly go and check different things, different meters, see what's happening as well as all the other things. Our competitors are doing something different. Are they your products? Are they avoiding certain kind of systems? How fast are the servers and all these different things? There's lots to do. So we'll be talking soon in the next episodes about other steps to use in order to understand how your website is improving and how it has to be improved. I hope you enjoyed the Fast Track edition of today. I would like to invite you to follow our show so that you don't miss the upcoming interviews with leaders in the market. Simply visit the website follow.prmediareach.com I will be adding the link also to the description of this episode so that you just need to click on that link. The link is follow 
dot PR Media Reach dot com follow dot PR Media Reach dot com. You can follow me also on Twitter by using the Twitter handle CAP Barch. So it's spelled C A P B A R T S C H. Or for those who are into sailing and uh, flying, Charlie Alpha Papa Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango Sierra Charlie Hotel. Yes, that's C A P Barge. See you soon or hear you soon in the next episode. And please share as well this episode if you've enjoyed it and would like to let others have the opportunity to use that as well to get new ideas and insights. Mm -hmm.